Hey, I'm Patrick from JMP Cycles, and we're here today to talk to you about some handlebars. Now, why would you want to change the handlebars on your motorcycle? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Comfort is generally first. Somebody wants to change the bars because they're reaching too far or not reaching far enough. Control, making it easier to control your motorcycle. And then three, style, making it fit the vibe of your motorcycle. Now, there's a couple of factors, dimensions that are gonna to weigh into to your comfort and your control. And then stylistically, you can change bars to fit the style of your bike based on those dimensions. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is a set of narrow ape hangers. And the, the, the measurements that are gonna determine your comfort and your control are height, how high up you want your hands to go, the pullback, how far these grips come back, and then the width how wide these bars are. Some guys want the real narrow bars, some of them want them out there where they can get some leverage on it. Now, once you've established how high, how, how much pullback, and how wide you want these to be, you can pick the style in which you wanna go with. So like I said, this is a pair of, I would call them narrow apes, and it gives us about, you know, that shoulder width height um, and a little bit of pullback. Now, this is a set of T-bars, kind of a, it's a tracker style bar with an integrated riser. So if you look, it has basically given us close to the same height as the ape hanger. Now, not as much pullback, our wrists are out a little bit, locked out a little bit more, but we achieved the same height, but using a totally different look. Now, this has, like I said, the integrated riser. There's another way to get there using this same style of uh, tracker bar like this. This is a Roland Sands bar, another tracker style, style bar, but it doesn't have integrated risers. So you can also adjust your lift by using a set of risers like this here. The risers are the clamps that hold your handlebar. So on this bike, this would have a very short rise. You'd be down a little farther, a little bit more aggressive with the same width and pullback as our integrated riser bar. So having a separate riser gives you adjustability. So if I, if I had a short bar like this and I wanted a little more height, I could just change my riser where with the integrated riser, it's a little bit of a cleaner look, but you don't have the adjustability. Now, something to consider when picking your bars, you're not gonna have these bars in front of you. So one way to do that is to take a, a piece of uh, house wire, Romex wire, bend it close to the shape of what you would want fix it there on your motorcycle, hold it up, and then you can use those dimensions to shop on the website by dimensions to pick the, pick the bar that closely mimics what you laid out there with your wiring. Now, let's take a little bit of a closer look at each bar in a little more detail. With a tracker or drag style bar like this, it's gonna be a very aggressive bar. You have a lot of control of the motorcycle because it's mounted very close to the top triple tree. Now you could adjust that if you wanted and put a riser in there and get it a little farther away, but overall an aggressive, very controlled bar. So for a T-bar, it's very similar to the tracker style bar that you would mount with the riser. Only, the only real difference is you have an integrated riser and generally these are available in different lengths, anywhere from like six to 14 inches. This is a narrow ape hanger. This can come in like a standard ape hanger, which would mean the base of this is gonna be a little bit wider. And these are available in lengths from anywhere from nine on up to way 22 real high, high ape hangers. Even though handlebar design can get a little crazy, like these Z bars here with the crazy angles, your end hand position is in the same position basically as a set of tracker bars. So even though the design's a little funky, the end result of where your ham hands are are almost the same as a tracker style bar. Another different take on design are these Nest modular bars. This is just kind of your typical ape hanger, but it uses this modular design where this comes apart and it'll help you run your internal wires to hide your switch wires when you, when you mount your bars. Now you bagger guys, when you wanna add ape hangers, specifically the bat wing fairing guys, the street glides, the ultras, you're gonna have to have a bagger bar, a bagger ape hanger bar specifically for your bike. And the reason for that is you need this bend right here to make it around your fairing. If you have just a straight bar, you're gonna have a problem. Also, late model guys with um, throttle by wire, you need a bar that's set up for it. Like this bar, this KST bar here is notched for your sensor. You're gonna make sure you have those bars with that notch in it for you throttle by wire guys. Something to consider when changing your bars is cable length. You don't wanna get caught with too short of cables or maybe even too long of cables after you change your bars. So one way to measure is to bend that wire into the shape of a bar you want and then measure that and then order your cables accordingly. You can order them one at a time or you can order them a kit like this. But most likely you're gonna to have to change your throttle cables, your brake cable and your clutch cable and maybe even some wiring. 
As always, if you have any questions, you can comment in the comment section and we'll get back to you. You can hit, hit us up on our 800 number or you can even chat with us online at jpcycles.com. Now, go ride your motorcycle.